Nigeria is the most populous African country and this means it gets visited by foreigners every year. A large percentage of travelers to Nigeria are business travelers because a lot of people see Nigeria as a place to make money due to the large consuming population. Apart from being a business travel destination, Nigeria has a large underutilized tourism sector that is being slept on, which I have discussed in a lot of previous videos. The government has never seen it fit to develop any of these sectors, which is really heartbreaking. Back in April last year, we toured a couple of states in Nigeria over the period of one week. The team consisted of myself, Wizi, Temple and Mohamed and a couple of other friends. Today, I'm going to be showing you five amazing places that you wouldn't believe existed in Nigeria and that have great tourism potentials. The first place we went to was Obudu and it was magnificent. The weather was amazing, the air was foggy and there were rolling hills that stretched out into the horizon. This trip to Obudu was actually sponsored by Travel Better, a travel company in Nigeria. Obudu Mountain Resort is a ranch and resort on the Obudu Play 2 in Cross River State, Nigeria. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, final preparation for landing. There are many words to describe the Obudu Mountain Resort. Trust me. I own you. Next up was Akwa Ibom Golf Resort. This is an amazing place in eastern Nigeria. It's called the Pride of Uyo and it's situated amidst the rich palm forest vegetation. It also has an 18-hole golf course with green hill vegetation that disappears into the horizon. This place is really amazing and has multiple rooms with an amazing pool. It was one of the best experiences I have ever had in my life. This would be an awesome place to travel to with family and friends for an Easter vacation or for a proposal. So if you want to get married and you're looking for a dope spot to bring your significant other, this is a place you should consider. There are bicycle rides available for you so you can move around in nature and have an amazing time. You can also play golf at the 18-hole golf course if you are into sports. The amazing hotel facilities at the resort would also tend to your needs whenever necessary. Akwa Ibom is one of Nigeria's most beautiful places to explore. Production team to execute this 
this properly. Really, how are you feeling? You just eat chop food, you enjoy yourself. This is Afan. The Afan here is a mad thing. Two times. See me! Yeah, you did, huh? Oh, oh, shit, man. Waterfall. This is one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Nigeria. Guara Waterfall is located in Guara, a local government area of Niger State, North Central Nigeria. The waterfall is approximately 30 meters in height and it lies on the Guara River along the Suleja Mina Road. This is an amazing spot with amazing tourism potential. The waterfall area has a lot of greenery around it and makes a great spot for Instagrammable pictures. We spent some time having a picnic here and basking in the environment. It was blissful. Lufasi Park is one of the few conservations that exist in the most populated city in Africa. It's a unique park located along the Lekki Ekwe Expressway. Arriving at this location, you get a feeling of tranquility. The beautiful gardens with different species of plants, the playground for kids, to so the amazing lakes available at this facility. One of the best things I loved about this place is the lake, which has an amazing wooden walkway that's also awesome for taking pictures. The vegetation at this location consists of habitats of swamp forest and oil palm plantations with large garden spaces. The Fasi Nature Park aims to help conserve native biodiversity, educate about climate change and the natural environment, and also collaborate with the wider community of stakeholders. So there are a lot of animals here, monkeys, there are monkeys here, and there are some, I don't know, this is a different animal. This is monkey, this monkey is out of his cage. Let's, let's go and say hi to him. Oh, he's scared. He has this leopard mark on his body. It looks like a leopard, but it's not a leopard. It's, it's more of a... I think it's called an African seabed. Oh, he's interested. Interested in us. Lastly is one of my favorite spots that I've made a lot of videos about on my channel and it's called Takwa Bay. Takwa Bay in Lagos is an awesome coastline location. It is one of the most underdeveloped beaches in Lagos and it holds unimaginable tourism potential in Africa's biggest city. It's also the only beach you can get to surf in Lagos, Nigeria. The beautiful area is home to a couple of vacation beach houses which you can book for a weekend getaway. I have made a lot of videos about this location in the past so be sure to check them out. What do you think is the case for local travel? Do you think local travel should be encouraged? Yeah, I think right now that is the only option we have because it's going to be difficult for 
the world to come back to normal where people can just you know get visas and move now it's going to be very very serious so i think we have to start accepting local travels i think that's the new phase of tourism across the world we have to begin to accept that um, there are places we can visit but there are places we haven't even visited in our own spaces first i saw a quote somewhere they said you want to travel go to your backyard first so i think it's high time to go see what's up in our backyard We've been to a play of places around Nigeria, and I feel the government hasn't seen its fit to develop those places. Places like Guara Falls, Takwa Bay, which are very dope travel destinations in Nigeria. So what do you think is the case for that? What do you think, if you were to say something to somebody in the government, what would you say to them in terms of developing our local travel locations and our local tourism industry? I would say that it's high time they begin to look back into our tourism sector. Oil is not creating that much revenue for us anymore. So we have to go back to our drawing books. A bunch of persons never knew places like that existed until we showed yeah. them. And these That's places right. can generate very, very, very good revenue for the states not also only the government i feel private investors can also come into place but i also feel you know government has a larger part to play because mm -hmm. if the roads are not good if there's no electricity if there's no security no private investor will come and invest in somewhere that's that that, that oh. might not work nigeria is blessed man it's green land it's, it's it's beautiful from everywhere it's been neglected for a long time and they are still neglecting it so i think it's time that they begin to look at these things because these things can actually bring money so tourism is one of the world's largest economic drivers. Despite tourist attacks, political instability, natural disasters, and health pandemics worldwide, it is also a large job creation avenue. Travel and tourism in South Africa contributed 1.5 million jobs and $22 billion to the economy in 2018, representing 8.6% of all economic activity in the country and making South Africa the largest tourism economy in Africa according to an annual review by the World Travel and Tourism Council. A total of $30.82 billion was spent in 2018 by overnight international visitors in Dubai. On average, a visitor spends $553 a day in Dubai. As the pandemic reduces worldwide and as the lockdown is gradually eased, local travel around Nigeria will become very important as people will be willing to travel domestically before they are open to traveling internationally. The epileptic electricity industry, the problems of insecurity, and the government's blindness to the potential Nigeria holds are the major problems Nigeria currently faces, and if solved, can result in revenue generation for Nigeria. I made this video as a public announcement to the politicians and to the children of the politicians who watch YouTube videos to tell their parents to invest in Nigeria's tourism, because Nigeria is for all of us. If we don't develop it, we won't have a place to call home. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.